good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be finishing up our AEW and Rival Collection series number two. I know we've been coming with a lot of reviews, a lot of AEW and Rival Collection, but we were behind. You know, we never got series two in, and we never got series three in, and they both came in at the same exact time, so trying to knock all of these out together. But today, I'm excited, guys, because we have Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. in the house. We've got the Lucha Bros, and I'm super excited to add these into the AEW action figure collection. We're going to break these open. I've heard that Pentagon the best AEW figure to date. So we're going to find that here today. We're going to find that out and everything. And later today, I'm going to be posting my ranking of AEW and Rival Collection 2. So just like yesterday, we're going to have a two in one day where we do this set. And then we are going to review Hangman Page and Dustin and then rank AEW series number two. So stay tuned for that, guys. Both of those videos going up today. So I'm super excited to get into it with you. Cannot wait to get started with it, guys. If you guys like to pre-order these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10%. I would really appreciate it, but you guys can see here, front viewing window with these guys. You got their name, of course, in the AEW style in gold on the side there. AEW logo, both of the talent on the back. Both of these attires are from Double or Nothing, apparently, where they took on the Bucks of Youth. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. We reviewed John Moxley and MJF yesterday. Go check that out if you missed it. On the right, you got the AEW logo, and then you got a beautiful image of Phoenix and Pentagon right there. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's go ahead and crack both of these guys out of their packaging and get into this review. So here are the Lucha Bros out of their packaging, guys, and it's actually quite insane because with this one, uh, yeah, we don't really have accessories. I think that Phoenix was supposed to come with interchangeable hands, but for whatever reason, at the time of launch, uh, he ended up not getting them, man. All he has is mic holding hands, so he literally has zero accessories whatsoever. And then with Pentagon over here, we only get one accessory. You get one interchangeable hand. You have your Seto Mieto hand, or your Cero Mieto hand, or however you say it, which means zero fear hand. And you guys know that they they got their signature hand going right here and that's all you get. You get that and you get nah, I gotcha. But this is literally your only accessory. Interchangeable hand and then you have the mic holding hand right here, the grappling hand. So I'm just going to put his grappling hand in there and you guys can, uh, we'll, we'll take a look, closer look at the glove detail here, but this is legit his only accessory that you get out of these two. But I like the sculpt that kind of reminds, you know, it's just a regular gloved hand that we've seen from many people. You got the black stripe on the finger right there and the rest is in white, but I think the sculpt is nice and everything. It looks good. I think the shape is nice. Everything like that. But that is literally and legit the only accessory we get. So I guess with that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and dive into the Lucha Bros and then we'll do some comparisons. All right, guys, so I guess we could start things off with Ray Phoenix. And for a Ray Phoenix head sculpt, I like the mask a lot. I think the mask looks good. The only thing I don't really like is that his, like, it's not centered very good. So you guys can see his right eye is a little bit covered up right there and then the left one as well, which isn't the biggest deal. It's just a little nitpick right there that you know you can't really see his eyes all the way and it's kind of wonky that it's out of you know out of place but I like the cross I like all of this is a really good sculpt I like the paint details on here you even have the little uh, ponytail or the little rat tail that's coming off the back right there got nice silver black and white details going all the way around I think they did good it's got a white uh, you know mouth wide open face I, I think it looks like Ray Phoenix so it works for me in the mask and everything on this torso I think this looks good and everything I think it fits you know it's just a regular lean little luchador torso all of his tattoo detail is here which you love to see all these tattoos look good. They look realistic. I think they did a really excellent job on that. He does have his white wrist tape as well as his white belt right here. His star design right there on the lower torso. Pretty good stuff going on. I like his tights as well. Again, I think, what is this? Is his, this is his double or nothing attire with Pentagon. So they are in pretty much matching gear. The white and black, which is very synonymous with them. You know, that's, that's probably their most popular attires. You know, when you think of the Lucha Bros, you think of this specific attire pretty much. But you have the silver flames going up in the back. You got the nice feet phoenix style design going on right there with like the flame bird going on you got the nice i don't know what that's supposed to say but it says it and then you got the phoenix kick pad slash knee pad over here i like this sculpt right here which is nice and he actually has boot cuts so you love to see that it's not like a pox situation we don't have a pox situation going on over here where he doesn't have that he even has the white designs on the feet and everything and these feet are extremely flat like i feel like these are very flat feet and it looks like it is a one-of-one -one sculpt but i like what we got going on with the phoenix man it looks pretty damn good i, I enjoy that but if you guys want to get a quick little articulation standpoint in here before we move on to Pentagon, his head cans can move down a little bit right there and it is on a ball hinge so he can look up pretty good as well. You get the diaphragm there. He can crunch for pretty John Brown good. You have the shoulders that go up above 90 degrees with the ratchet joints. Got the bicep swivel. You got the double jointed there. 
Waist does this little thingy. You get ball joints so you can do the splitsies. Upper thigh cutting, kick forward. Back is not that much because of the butt cheek flat, but he can kick forward pretty good. You get the double jointed knees in there with the knee pads. You do get the boot cut, which is very nice to see. The feet move up. You do get the nice ankle pivot, and uh, yeah, the feet do go up and down, so you love to see that. That's great. Really good stuff right there from Ray Phoenix. He can do all kinds of crazy shit in the ring, so it is, you know, optimal that his figure can do the same crazy shit that you see on AEW Dynamite. So getting into Pentagon, guys, this head sculpt is pretty damn nice. I love the mask sculpt that you got going on here. You know, with Pentagon, you got a lot of great sculpts and a lot of great textures and great stuff going on. I love the paint detail we got going on. I think the eyes look great. Tongue sticking out right there with the skull paint underneath looks good. I love the mask. It's a nice soft rubber right here, so it's not going to chip or anything. You got the nice dragons going on. I mean, dude, this is very nice. I love this head sculpt and the mask sculpt is really, really good. They did a really great job on that. In the torso, so same thing. All this stuff is sculpted on there, so it's a one of one sculpt. You got all of these pads and stuff on the chest plate or the, you know, the cover shirt right there. All sculpted. The black and white stands out really nicely. All of his tattoos are here. One thing I did notice, though, is that his arms are kind of flaily whaley on the lower part. You guys can see how it flicks right there. It doesn't hinder articulation. Like, you can still articulate and stuff and not have any problems. It's just something to note that his uh, lower arms are a little bit, you know, loosey-goosey. But, like I said, tattoos look good. I love the head sculpt again. The tongue sticking out looks great. This back portion looks great. Little rat tail coming off of the mask looks great. His waist wrap is also on here. This is a rubber material and it's not like Rehose where it's like all joggling around. It kind of stays in position so that's really nice to see. We covered his gloves before. They have a good sculpt on there with the white wrist tape. You have his nice little, I don't know what you would call them. I guess you could call them like road dog pants, you know, like kind of like the bunched up kind of uh, tights or jogging pants that he kind of wears. They're, they're, they're not tights but they are but they're kind of, you know, they're they're like baggy tights I guess you could say, but you got his stuff going down, you got the knee pads on there, all the great designs going down the sides here. He also has kick pads that have like this diamond formation pattern going on on the front, which looks really good, and it is accurate. You got these nice kick pads going with all the black and white, and he does have the ankle pivot, and he has boot rotation again, so these figures are much better than Pac already with the boot rotation, but geez, bro, this, this is a really highly detailed figure. They did a really outstanding job on this, and I'm glad that the Lucha Brothers got this treatment because uh, you know, they deserve it. I, I love these guys. Very fun to watch in the ring. All their matches are bangers, but let's go ahead and get into this quick articulation standpoint. His head can look down even though he does have this mask sculpt and he can look up a little bit there so that is nice to see. Uh, diaphragm can come in pretty good. Pretty solid ab crunch, I'd say. You can bend over pretty much all the damn way. You get the rotation right there like you always get. You can go back some as well. You love to see that. Same shoulder ratchet joints, you know. You can go above 90. You do get the full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed arms. You do get the splitsies there because they're on ball joints. You can kick four pretty good, double jointed knee like we talked about. Boot rotation, foot goes down and up, and he has ankle pivot, and I love the white tips right here. These white tips are just beautiful, man. I love shoes that have like white toes or like white tips like that. That is just sick as shit, so I really like that. That gets me out of the bed in the morning, Brad. But Pentagon is nice, man. I think both of these guys are looking really damn good, Brad, but let's get into some Lucha Bros figure comparisons. So for your Lucha Brother figure comparison, guys, here is the Lucha Bros up next to their bitter rivals, the Young Bucks, coming up in here, Series 3 versus Series 2 right here. I can promise you this, I will not be booking this on Vindication or MDT Live or anything to do with the pick fed. I just, you know, we've seen this matchup so many times, and while it's been so fantastic, I just don't want to see it or replicate it in figure form. At least right now, I just don't see that happening. I don't even know when or if ever the Lucha Bros will come over to the pick fed. I think they'd be really fun to feature, especially since we're missing some tag teams, but I feel like the tag division on MDT Live could use them way more than the tag division over on Vindication could, because both shows have like four or five tag teams, so I think we could expand that if we needed to, but I think these scale pretty well together. They look really good together and everything like that, so I'm excited for that. I think that looks fantastic. I really don't know who else you could compare them to. I guess if you didn't want to compare them to that, here is Dustin Rhodes right here, Blood Brothers pack right there. He towers over both of those. Up next Next, you do have John Moxley, who doesn't even fit in screen either. If you guys want to get a little bit more crazy, here's Kenny Omega, how they scale well together. And then you also have Cody Rhodes, who also scales pretty good there. So if you guys want to see any of that, there is all of your Lucha Brother figure comparisons. So yeah, there's your Lucha Brother figure comparisons. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 AEW and Rival Collection Series 2 review. Guys, on the Lucha Bros, Phoenix and Pentagon, I hit two of their moves here. I got Phoenix hitting the super kick on Matt Jackson, and then
and then I did my best to do a package pile driver with Pentagon and Nick Jackson over here. It's not the best, but it's as good as you could get. You also got to think that he has that waist wrap going around that also hinders it a little bit, but I think it's pretty good. I love that they can tuck their chin, so I think that also helps up with it, but I did my best to get them in two of those poses so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. I think both of them look great, though. I think overall, both of them are going to do well in the ranking, which is going to come later today, so definitely be on the lookout of the ranking of this full set. When we take a look at Adam Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes when we get there, but overall, really enjoy these figures. I, I'm not sure if Pentagon's the best ever, you know, if, if he's the best figure. I love Pentagon. I think his figure is great and everything. I just don't know. I'd have to, you know, get, take a minute to rank all of them, which may be a future video idea when we get maybe six series in or something like that. We could rank every single AEW figure together and see where they all land, but if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know down below. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out for the day, and it is going to go to Luis Estevez. Estevez? Estevez? Luis Estevez? Brad, I've waited 84 years. I've waited 84 years. And I think he's referring to how long we've waited on the John Moxley and the Series 2. It has been an absolute long time ever since. I mean, it's almost been a year to the date that we saw the figures, and then we finally got them in hand, and they've been released for a while now, so I'm very happy to finally have them in the collection, get the reviews up for you guys, rank the set, and get all that in there. Again, I know it's been a lot of unrivaled collection reviews here in the last few days, just bang, 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 but I had to catch up. I had to get the reviews out for you guys to showcase these figures, see what they're all about, and I hope you guys have enjoyed them anyway, but huge shout out to Luis Estevez for that comment, guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of Phoenix and Pentagon down in the comment section below. Where do you think they'll rank? Be sure to stay tuned for the ranking later on today, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Use promo code MDTOYS when shopping at WrestlingFigures.com ringside collectibles. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line or you'll end up getting super kicked and packaged pile driver, Brad. Damn. You cross the line.